This video shows how to use USB JTAG NT program remote controller EEPROM. This is a universal remote controller and on the back here there is a JP1. This particular model is Millennium. Um, here it says B04. So by looking at the software and it has a 24C08 uh, E square in it. And this is the jumper, uh, the connector we can use. Here is the connection for USB JTAG NT uh, with the two pins here to the uh, JP1 here and one ground pin. Now I use the battery here. This is USB JTAG NT uh, connect to a Millennium remote control uh, with the three volt uh, battery in it. So the target will select 24 LC08 even though it's a C08 it's not LC which means it's 5 volt but with the battery in there uh, you are able to read it. So this is the data raw data read from the uh, remote controller's E square uh, EEPROM and we can save it. So I will save it as a backup. So this data is raw binary, but the remote manager or remote control manager will not recognize this. So I wrote a script that will parse it. So this will okay, say gen ir, um, I have a backup, and this will generate a back data, but it's in the, uh, up to, to the console, I will say write to the data, say backup.ir. And oh, sorry, back up. Here is our MRL program, and in here we can open the file generated by the script, which is backup IR. And when we open it, it will say what type you want and what it is it. So it's zero four and you see it can properly recognize it and this is raw data. So let's assume I made some changes. I don't know how to do this, but let's say assume some changes here. Um, let's say I want to make this change, which is uh, 522, whatever. And that raw data will change, from some data is changed here. And then I say I want to save as so when I ask save as, I also save as RL file. So let's say changed. And in here, if you look at, it will have a changed IR. If you look at the format, it's something like this. And then there's another script you can use, say, uh, from IR and then enter the changed IR and the data I want to say changed dot bin. So now use my software I can open this file okay let me see, first clear it then I open it say changed and this file has been changed let's say I want to write to it and let's verify it so with the combination of this software and the um, the m the rmir we can program the ex square which typically previously has to use the printer port to do it but now you can do it you know with the windows 10 and windows 10 does not support uh, printer port anymore